War Stories. Another video. Hey, um, since I've been coming to YouTube, I've been learning a lot of shit, man. My eyes been open. A lot of these dudes putting down shit that I didn't even know about. <clears throat> they pointed out shit that I didn't even think about. But now that I heard them talk about this shit, I look at certain things during my daily routine. And, you know, a lot of it makes sense. But, um, it is possible to have a stable black relationship, man. You know what I mean, me and the girl that I'm with now is cool. But like I was going to say, I mean, it's it's possible to have a stable relationship and at the same time see and understand the dysfunction that's going on within the black populace. In other words, you can have a banging girlfriend, you can have a nice personality, she's, you know, ambitious, smart, own money and all that shit. You guys can have the best relationship, but you guys are still black and you still have to address the social conditions that affect the black populace. Now, a lot of us say, hey man, I moved out of that environment, I don't live that life anymore, why should I even care or even talk about that shit? Hey, you black, and the dysfunction that's going on, you may not be a part of that dysfunction, but you should give your honest opinion from an outside point of view at the very least. And that's how I look at it, man. Like, I'm in a relationship with a female. And even though it's all good, that doesn't mean I can't speak on the self-destructive, backwards pathologies within the black um, collective. I hate saying community. I'm starting to not say that shit. I'm going to start saying black America. Or some shit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna start saying Black America or some shit because I hate saying fucking community. So yeah, man. As a um, a man who believes in the truth, I just can't turn my my head and be like, all right. Even though I'm in a stable relationship and everything's going good on my end with my woman. That doesn't mean I gotta ignore the shit a lot of these dudes on YouTube talk about. So yeah, I don't want everybody to think that all these dudes on here talking about females are not in relationships. Because I mean, you can be in a relationship and you can be in a positive, productive relationship and the shit you hear about don't apply to your girl or your woman, or your wife, or whatever, at the same time, you can still give your honest opinion on what you see and what you experienced throughout your life. I honestly believe there are a lot more productive uh, black relationships than there are negative. I think that there are a selective, you know, number of black females and males who either are, are unable to um, connect with the opposite gender or they just are introverts who don't want to connect with the opposite gender. Whatever the case may be, there's an element within the black collective or the black populace in which people aren't happy <laughs> relationship wise now when I listen to a lot of the dudes on here I take what they say with a grain of salt because you don't know if they're bitter from not getting any pussy if they're bitter from not being in a relationship or if they're bitter because they can't get the girl they want. Now, my understanding is that these dudes are frustrated that these bitches are making babies with losers and then they're blaming all black men for it, the conditions within the black collective. That's what my beef is. I don't got no problem getting bitches. I got no problem pulling these hoes. 
my beef is that I got to answer. I have to answer for why there's a 70% out of wedlock birth rate. And I don't even have kids. But I still have to answer that shit. So if I have to answer for that shit, I'm going to tell you the reason why. And I give motherfuckers the reason why. But, um, yeah, man. When you try to force productive black men to take responsibility for a mess they did not create, you're going to get pushed back. You're going to get pushed back. And that was my, that's my only beef with these, uh, these bitches on YouTube complaining. That's my only beef, honestly. I don't really even fucking get caught up in all this bullshit because I know that most of it's coming from people who are miserable and cannot find a person of the opposite gender to make, to make, you know, things go right. But, um, yeah, man. And I ask myself, some of these dudes, like, that are all, that are on here, like, talking shit, what if they find a chick while they're grocery shopping somewhere or fucking, fucking going to the fucking car wash and they find a bitch that don't fit none of these negative stereotypes and they hook up and he's feeling it. Are, are these dudes going to stop making videos? I mean, like, that'd be some shit. That'd be some shit. Like, you talk all this shit, you make all these fucking videos about these hoes, and then as soon as you come across a nice bitch that just blows your mind and she's feeling you, you're going to stop making videos. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck what kind of woman I'm dating. As long as there's dysfunction within the black populace, I'm going to be making videos and talking about this shit. I'm just going to. Because I realize over time that if us as black folks don't hold each other accountable and, and shame each other about some of the shit we do, it ain't going to get better. So, just because you're in a relationship, a stable, happy relationship, you can still talk about the dysfunction within the black community. Wow, oh, fuck, why did I say that word? No, you can still talk about the dysfunction in black America. I don't call it a community because it's not a fucking community. A community is a family, a nuclear family together. A community that functions and operates. That's not what black folks have. Black folks have a bunch of single mothers who made poor choices in men. Bottom line. And these hoes been doing this shit for the past 45 years. They just have a thing for losers. They just have a thing for losers. And then they expect all black men to come back to the community and help them rebuild this shit. No, fuck that, bitch. Ask your bastard sons that you raised <clears throat> to come back and build that shit. Again, ask those bastard sons you raised from 19, what, 75 up until now to come back and help you. Don't expect productive black men that came from two-parent families in the suburbs or outside the hood to come back and help you, dumb skanks. No, we're not. You dumb, dirty skanks need to learn that you made the poor choice in getting, who, in getting with who you got with. As a result, you got to live with the consequence. I don't feel sorry for you because the more and more I see shit, you bitches don't want to change and you don't want to learn don't want to learn it's like it's fu it's funny but then to an extent it's like crazy too because like you bitches find yourselves in the same predicament decade after decade a lot of these bitches are in the same predicament their moms was in single and on welfare <laughs> i swear to god this is exactly what the fucking democrat party wanted for these dumb bitches and it's all because of the beehive, the group thinking, the beehive thinking. These bitches fucking listen to the dumbest people in their fucking families. Listen to the dumbest girlfriends they have and taking advice from their dumbass girlfriends. And these bitches end up just like their moms, alone and miserable. So yeah, man, there are productive, positive black relationships out here, man. 
<clears throat> and um, just because you're in a productive, positive black relationship don't mean you got to ignore the dysfunction that's going on. Nah, man, you are a positive example, and you should be voicing your opinion about it. And your girl should already know your position and know how you feel. Know what I mean? Plain and simple. I tell my girl exactly what the deal is with black folk. And she fucking agrees. I take my chick anywhere on fucking TV. She'll be sitting right next to me. And I'll tell the truth about these dumb black bitches. Right in front of my girl. And my girl got, I got no problem. My girl talked about Pookie and Ray Ray. Because I know I'm not Pookie and Ray Ray. I know I'm not those kind of guys. So it's like, you know what I mean? She can talk about the motherfuckers because those are the guys that are fucking shit up. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. I had to make this video because a lot of dudes think just because they got into a relationship, they don't got to, or they can't say nothing about black folks. Nah, man. Nah, fuck that. You say what you got to say and be truthful. Don't hold back. Because a lot of black people are being protected from the truth. And that's by the Democrat Party. They're not going to tell these black bitches the truth. Look motherfucking down. Motherfucking Come hella hot water. Down the slaughter with posters. Just another lost soul. Stuck calling Jehovah. Outlaw to the sofa. Brandish my strap. Back like a cobra. I stay drunk. Cause I'm, Cause I'm a madman. We're never sober. On a one man mission. My ambition's to hold up some rap game. While, While I pluck holes in niggas like donuts and steel. Down to die for all my soldiers. Like hillbillies. They, they don't feel me. So we fuse. Bring a war to the city. We need to breath. Death and soul dishonor. Never let you swallow me. No apologies. Your honor. A general in war, I'm the first to bomb With a squad, trust the killers, quick to move shit Out of the arm, I'm similar to Saddam Sometimes I question who's sane Like being credit for that last vein Stuck in the game, I hit the scene like sandstorms They transform, watch me I take the figure of 30 niggas who all got me While bitches wondering who shot me No love, keep a grudge, shoot you some slugs like my mom could die Murder my friends, build a new posse We taking shots of paparazzi, don't go to fly that Nigga like Rocky, you got a lot of nerve to play me Another gay rapper, busting cats at Jay-Z It's still a boy catcher, why y'all caught up in the rapture? Still after me, I'm in Jamaica sipping daiquiris No doubt, we used to having nothing Then grabbing something and busting Wanted to be the thug nigga, that my old man wasn't I can't tour, fear, catching cases, litigation Niggas play hating, got me crooked in all 50 states I'm screaming death row, throw my west side Ain't no thing, we was raised on drive-by Bought up to bay, we claim mob M.O.B., if you be specific We control all cash from Atlanta Pacific. And get this, I'm hard to kill when I feel with this live spot Father, how the hell did I survive these five shots? Live it up or give it up And like demons, late night, hear them screaming We going all 